and welcome to an Automation Professionals tutorial. My name is Dave and I'm the lead programmer. Today we're going to talk about house events for your Crestron system which will allow you to choose what will happen when you leave the house, when you go to bed, and when you come home. First let's go over the navigation layout. On the bottom left you will see the home button that brings up the navigation page. One thing to point out in this section is in the house tab at the top where you can force your house to go into each state, although you may find no need to do this when properly set up as its intention is to be automatic. On the far right of the navigational menu, click on settings. In here you will see the arrival, vacant, and sleep tab at the top. We're going to start off in the vacant tab. What you see in your system may be different than mine as these lists only contain functions that exist in your system. On the right is a list that contains the actions that will cause your house to go vacant. When you click on an item, it will show you a description below to refresh your memory on what it will do and if you hold the item, it will toggle it on and off. The first one will always be enabled, however, and it's just there to let you know how to use the function since, as noted when you look at the description, you have to hold the exit button on your keypad to make it happen, which is meant to prevent accidentally putting your house vacant since it could turn the lights off on other people in the house amongst other things shutting off in use. Other options here include making your house vacant when, the lock, when you lock the door via the one-touch keypad, which is my personal favorite method, and when you arm your alarm to away. One thing to note here is if you have Google Home, then you can make your house vacant by simply saying, Hey Google, goodbye. Hey Google, goodbye. Adios Dave, have a good one. In the left list are all the things that can happen when you put your house vacant. The first one is a fairly obvious function that will make sure all your music and TVs are shut off when you leave so nothing is left on. The lights option is always enabled however, one thing to note is if you trigger it via the exit button on the keypad, the lights in the room that you are leaving will stay on for 5 minutes so you don't have to leave in the dark. Next is the close all shades option which will obviously close all your motorized shades in your house when you leave. The thermostat option will set all your thermostats to their away mode and the locks option will auto lock all your locks after 5 minutes of leaving. The purpose of the delay being so you have time to exit the house, but in reality you will most likely use the one touch feature to make your house vacant anyways if you have the locks. Lastly is the security systems option which will only work if you have saved your alarm code in the security systems section. There are two options here, one is to arm your to away and one is to arm to stay. The stay option being for people with large pets that can't use the away function as their pets will set off their motion sensors. Next is the sleep section. On the right is also the actions that will put your house to sleep. First is when you enable the sleep timer in a music or TV room. Next is if you hold the sleep timer on a keypad, which like the exit button is always enabled. And lastly is when you arm your security system to stay. On the left are the actions that will occur when you put your house to sleep. The first option will turn on the sleep timer in all music and TV rooms that are currently on. The default sleep timer is 60 minutes but can be altered from a touch panel or mobile device. Next is to turn off all interior lights in your house which is always enabled. Close all shades will do exactly that and lock all locks is fairly self explanatory as well. Lastly is the security system which will arm your security system to stay when you put your house to sleep. Which to reiterate, like the security systems option in the vacant section, the alarm code has to be entered in the alarm section to work. Another thing to note here is again, if you have Google Home, you can simply say, Hey Google, good night, and it will put your house to sleep. Hey Google, good night. Good night, Master Dave. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Seriously, watch out. Blind, blind. 
Lastly is the arrival section which will allow a few things to happen when you come home. Keep an eye out here as I may add more later. First is the option to open all your shades when you come home. Next is to set your thermostats to run on schedule. And lastly is to turn on the lights in the room where you unlocked your door. Once again if you have a Google Home you can simply say, hey Google, I'm home. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching and feel free to check out my other tutorials that will be popping up over time as well as some other cool videos I'll be posting in the near future. If you are interested in licensing out my program and modules, contact me with the email address on the screen for information.